Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little rose with some little leaves as well. So what we're going to need, okay, we're going to be using some worsted weight yarn, yay, I hear you cry because I know I hardly ever use worsted weight yarn. In the UK this is Aran yarn, Aran weight yarn. And we're going to be choosing a sort of pinky, dusky pink colour and a green for the leaves. And we're going to be using a 3.5 millimetre e-hook. Hook. And of course it's always good to have some scissors and a yarn needle. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain 15. So taking our pink Aran worsted weight yarn and our 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, we're going to chain 15. Okay, so that's one, two, three, fourteen, and fifteen. And once you've chained 15, we're going to work in our second stitch from hook. Now our second stitch is we don't count the loop on our hook and there's our first stitch there so our second stitch down I'm going to go in there put our hook in I'm just going to go through that catching that top bit of yarn I'm just going to work a slip stitch so I'm just going to bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on my hook to do a slip stitch and then in the same stitch we're going to go back in again I'm just going to do a single crochet And then in the same stitch again, going back to the same stitch, we're then going to do a slip stitch. Then so bring the yarn through, then straight through the loop on our hook. And after that, in the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet and one double crochet. So we do in the next stitch, I'm just going to do a single crochet. I'm going to do a double crochet in the same stitch, going back into the same stitch. I'm going to do a double crochet. Like so, she's got two stitches in there. Then in the next stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. So going into the next stitch, do a double crochet. And in the same stitch again, so going back into the same stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet. So again, we've got two stitches in the same stitch. So it looks a little like that. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet and yarn over. Go into the same stitch again and do a double crochet. And then come back down in the next stitch, we do a so go into the next stitch, we do a double crochet. And in the same stitch, we do a single crochet. So what you've done is you've done like a little the second stitch from hook, we just did a little nubbin of slip stitch, a single crochet and a slip stitch. And then over the next two stitches, we did a single crochet, double crochet, and then come back down, double crochet, single crochet, the next stitch. And over the next two, we did the same again. We did a single crochet, double crochet, and the next stitch did a double crochet and a single crochet. As you can see, it starts wanting to twist round on itself, so we're working more stitches than we have chains. Then what we want to do is in the next stitch we do the same thing again. We're going to start off with a single crochet and a double crochet. So we do a single crochet and get some more yarn. And then yarn over in the same stitch, same stitch we do a double crochet. Injuries on my hand again. Like so, it's just the same again, single crochet, double crochet. But in the next stitch, instead of coming back down, we're going to do a treble crochet. To do a treble crochet, we wrap the yarn around our hook twice. So we've got three loops in total. We'll keep it quite loose. 
Then going into the next stitch, we grab our yarn and bring it through. And then we've got four loops. Then we yarn over and pull through two loops. So you've got three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So you've got two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And that completes a treble crochet. I'm going to do that twice more in the same stitch. We wrap around twice, go into the same stitch, bring your yarn through, then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So you're always pulling through two. And then one more in the same stitch, wrap around twice, get back into the same stitch again and then just yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. So you've got three treble crochet stitches all in the same stitch, one, two, three. And then we're going to come back down so in the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet and then a single crochet. So double crochet and then in the same stitch we do a single crochet. That creates a much bigger rose petal. And we're going to repeat that twice more. So in the next stitch we're going back up again. So we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. A single crochet, yarn over, back into the same stitch and do a double crochet. Then in the next stitch we're going to do our three treble crochet stitches, so we yarn over twice and the next stitch, pull the yarn through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Pull through two. We do two more of those, so we wrap the yarn around twice, go back into the same stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over and pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then one more, back into the same stitch again. And then we've got three triple crochets again. Then we're going to come back down so we do a double crochet and a single crochet in the next stitch. So in the next stitch do a double crochet and in the same stitch do a single crochet. That completes our next rose petal and all starts getting twisty twisty but that should leave you with three, one, two, three stitches. So we're going to go back up once more with a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch we do our three treble crochet stitches. So in the next stitch do your trebles. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And we do two more of those. Wrap around twice, go in, grab the yarn, pull through, so you've got four loops, the yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, through two, and do one more, wrap around twice to the next stitch. Through two, and if this is a little bit fast for you, um, you're quite new to crochet, you can go check out my playlist of introductory to all these stitches. Then the very, very last stitch, we're going to come back down with a double crochet and a single crochet. So we start off with a double crochet first, double crochet and a single crochet like so and there we go and um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave just a tiny little bit for sewing and cut that very well and just pull your, your yarn through and what you'll find is if you bring these to the front to so put those to the back Everyone's coughing in the background. <laughs> As you'll find that it wants to twist around, so just curve your little, twist your little rows, and it should naturally fall into 
its petals like so and that completes the rows and what I, get, what I actually do is I then use the remaining yarn just to sew it together and I'll show you how to do that. Let's quickly show you. I'll just put the, using my yarn, yarn needle and when you've put it all, twisted it up together, we're going to just, I'm going to first of all bring this down this end piece, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it down to the bottom like that. So it creates a little curve on the end. And making sure it's all settled back in to position. I'm then going to just sew down onto this level secure that into, into place and then go through just come up for the very centre piece there like so and then I'm just going to go back down up through and out somewhere on the bottom there we go that should secure your little rose into position like so. Next thing to do is to work on the leaves. Okay, so to make the leaves, we're going to take our green Aran um, worsted weight yarn and using the same hook, we're going to chain six to begin. So, do a little slip knot. Okay, so we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then in our second stitch from hook, we're going to do a single crochet. In our second stitch from hook, again, we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first stitch and there's our second stitch. So going into the second, now it's really important um, on making the leaf, when you make the leaves, to only work, only catch that top bit of yarn just there. I'm going to just bring the yarn through, so it's just going underneath that top bit of yarn. I'm going to do a single crochet. And the next stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet, so we yarn over. And again, when you go into the next stitch, just catch that top bit of yarn. So we need to work back into these chains and this helps us see the chains on the way back. I'm going to do a half double crochet. And the next stitch we'll do a double crochet. And again, just make sure you're catching that top bit of yarn. Do a double crochet. And the next stitch we come back down, so we do a half double crochet. Again, just catching that top bit of yarn, bring the yarn through, do your half double and the very last one we're going to do a single crochet. So again just catching that top bit. And do our single crochet and that creates half of our leaf and then what we need to do is work back into these chains again in the opposite direction with the same stitches now in our f same stitch as the one we've just worked into. We're going to work another so go back to that same stitch, we're going to work another single crochet. And then just turning your work clockwise, going back round. We're going to start crocheting back into these chains again. So the next one, our second one, needs to be a half double crochet. And as you can see, that was the last stitch we worked into, which is technically our first foundation stitch. We've done our single crochet in there. And the next one there, you can see that little hole just appearing in there, and that next chain we're going to do our half double crochet. So put your hook into there. If you just push your hook in, it should naturally find the stitch if you've worked just into the top stitch, and it should be fairly easy to find them. And the next one again, if you put it apart, you can see the next one in there. Find a little hole there. We'll do a double crochet. I'm just working the tail yarn into the project as well. So just going along. You can just sort of place it on top and then push and it should find it. 
bring the yarn through. Do double crochet. Oh, it's gone wrong. No. Because this yarn's quite stringy. There we go. Do a double crochet. Then the next one, you can see it there. Pull it apart, a little tiny hole. Do a half double crochet. I use a lot of this method going back into the chain stitches for my shoes. And then the very last one there, you can just see. Just put place our hook on top and just push. And bring the arm through. And do a single crochet. And that completes our first leaf. But we're not going to um, fasten off. We're just going to chain six again. One, two, three, four. Five and six and do the same again so in our second stitch from hook there's our first there's our second again just making sure to catch that top bit of yarn we're going to do a single crochet and the next one we do a half double crochet just again catching that top bit of yarn half double crochet then a double crochet And a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then the very sorry about the background noise. And the last stitch we can just see on the end there. Just hooking that top bit of yarn, we're going to do a single crochet. And again we need to work back into these foundation chains again. So just the first one is always the same stitch as our last one, so we can go back into that same stitch and do a single crochet but just before you finish your single crochet just bring the yarn round to this side of the leaf in between the leaves and then finish your single crochet and that helps turn turn the leaf and the next one we're going to do a half double crochet so we yarn over and then just finding that just pull it apart what I do is I see whether I've worked the last one is the little sort of dark area along from that I'll just put my hook on top of that and then push and it tends to find it. Do a half double crochet. You can hear horses outside. It's nice. And the next one we do a double crochet. Sounds like a lot of horses. And the next one, we can really see that one there. Do a half double crochet. Lucy, you keep your chains the easier you'll see your stitches. And the very last one, which we can't see, but we can see the sort of dark area it should be. Just put our hook on top and push. We do a single crochet, like so. That completes our leaves. Okay, so then all we do is leave a little bit of tail for sewing. Just pull the yarn through. Now, to keep the pointedness of the leaf at the end, get our yarn needle and find in the very, very end, just put your yarn needle through and then just pull that and it brings it to the shape again. What we need to do is we just need to get this, turn it over, we just need to get this yarn back to the middle. So I'm just going to so along. And it's important not to pull because you don't want to distort the shape of your leaves. So go through a few more stitches. So we're back at the beginning. Yeah. Going for the next leaf. I'm sure you can do a much neater job. Than me. <laughs> I have a lot of background noise today. <laughs> I'm a bit behind on filming today, so I've been really busy this week I'm trying to get the crochet tea rooms launched. And if you haven't heard about the Happy Bay Crochet Tea Rooms, you can check out my Patreon page at patreon.com. That's P A T R E O N. 
dot uh, com forward slash happy berry. I'll put a link in the description. You can read up on all about how to become a patron. And then when that's back at the beginning, it should look a little something like that. And we bring back our little rows. And then make sure that the, the petals are to one side. You've got sort of like what looks like a missing petal here. And that's where we want to place our little leaves like that. So I'm just going to turn him over. I don't know why I called him him. It could be a her. Turn her over. And then all I'm going to do is sew my leaves on. as best as I can. Just do I'll just do a rough job for now. But you can probably sew these on a lot neater and come up this side. Just give you a rough idea. There we go. So when they're sewed on a bit neater than that. You can tie in all your tails or just trim them. And there's our finished finished rose with its two little leaves. And there's the other one. And these would make um, great additions to add to um, what you call them, little hair pins, little hair clips for children. Or you could use these on booties, or you could put them on hats, or you could make lots and make a necklace. So they're really useful little design. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, crochet tutorial that's yarn scrap friday and i shall see you next friday thanks for watching guys bye hi everybody in this video that's far too enthusiastic hi everybody hi everybody hi everybody Bye, <laughs>